What's good, YouTube? It's your boy B. Bob back with another video. And today, you know what I'm saying? Your boy just got back from the gym. I feel good. Feel a little um tight. Like, you know, my muscles feel a little tight, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Feel good. Yeah, so today, I hope y'all went to the gym today. Yeah, or did some kind of workout today. You got to trust that last video. My glow up video, come on bro, you're supposed to not, you're supposed to take that and use it, don't just take it and hear it and sit there and do nothing. Anyways, <clears throat> that's besides the point. Today we're talking about staying focused. Staying focused, focused. Now I said, people will bet against you. Now I said, they'll use it as, pe people will get bet against you. And coming from me, bro, I get bet against a lot. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. But I don't get mad about it. You know what I'm saying? I just use it as motivation, and that's what you're supposed to do. Use it as motivation. Think about this when you're feeling discouraged. Y'all, I keep looking down because I got it written in my notes. You know what I'm saying? But think about that when you're feeling discouraged. When you don't feel like getting up, when you don't feel like getting up and grinding, think about it. Somebody said you couldn't do it. Somebody didn't believe it in you. So you not you get you not getting up and grinding, you're just proving them right. And then you're showing them that they was right about everything they said they was about. They said about you. <clears throat> they was right. You're proving to them that they was right when you said when they said being a YouTuber was impossible. Or um you're lazy. Or if they're saying you can't do it because you're too lazy. Or if they're saying you can't do it just because I don't see it happening. I can't see that vision. So you're not going to do it just because I can't see it. People, people are like that. People just don't believe it because they don't see it. They don't see it in you. So they do stuff like that and they say stuff like that. Use that as motivation. When you're feeling discouraged and you don't feel like getting up in the morning and getting to work, going to the gym, making that video, doing whatever you want to do. Think about everybody that said you couldn't do it or everybody that don't believe in you. Because then you got to be like, me, this is how I think. I think about that and I'm like, bro, me, if I don't act on this, I'm finna prove them right. They're gonna be right about everything they said about me. But if I show them, and I, they, all they need is proof. All they need is proof. A lot of people need is proof. Like your mom probably don't um, believe in you. It's not that she don't believe in you or she don't see it happening. It's cause she never seen it before. So all she need is proof. So it's not that she don't want you to do that. She telling you to go to college. No, don't. you don't gotta go to college. That's just what she's used to. And all she need is proof. So go ahead and do it so that you're proving her wrong. And after that, she'll support you. She just knows it's possible. Right now, she don't think it's possible. Your mom or your dad, whoever. Right now, she don't think it's possible because she never seen it before. She don't even understand the internet for real or social media. So all we need is proof. All she need is proof. So use that as a mode. Use that as motivation. When you're feeling discouraged, think about everybody that says you couldn't do it. Or think about everybody that don't believe in you. And then... When you do that, it's going to be like, you know what I'm saying? It's like endless motivation, kind of. Even though I don't really believe in motivation because that's temporary. Um, it's like endless motivation. Proving them wrong. That's what you got to think. You got to prove them people wrong. Whoever was talking about you, whoever discouraged, I mean, whoever didn't believe in you, whoever don't see it happening, prove them wrong. Use that as motivation. Don't sit there in your bed and just chill. Nah. Get up and do what you gotta do. Now I'm saying, <clears throat> you don't need anyone to support you. Literally. You don't need anybody. You don't need your mom, your brother. You don't need your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your auntie, your uncle, your cousin, your nephew, your niece. You don't need nobody. You only need one person and one thing, which is yourself and God. And that's all you need. You don't need all these people. Because think about it. Like I said, some of these people just don't like see it happening because they don't understand they never seen it before so they don't understand but i only say that go for the older people like maybe your mom and your dad your cousins your aunties your uncles and all them they understand the internet they understand social media maybe your aunties and uncles so they get an exception but your cousins and your brothers they understand that you know bro so if your family, if your dad and your mom don't support you, it's not that they don't support you. It's just they try to take care of you. They try to be safe with you. So they try to tell you to go to college and make money. But they don't understand that you can make money from making a YouTube video. And they're old. They don't understand that. So all they need is proof to know that it's possible. And you need to be that proof. So 
But your auntie, I mean your sisters, your brothers, your cousins, all the young people, bro, you don't need them, bro. Trust me, because if they don't support you, then they don't support you. If they can't just share it on their story, the minimum, then they ain't going to, hey, it is what it is. But like I said, you don't need them. You just need yourself and God. You need to believe in yourself and you need to do the work <clears throat> and you need to have faith in God and God going to work with you. If you're doing the right thing, obviously. But yeah, man. So you don't really need anybody but yourself and God. You now I'm saying a lot of people will support you when they see that you made it or when they see the improvement. But they don't. You know what I'm saying a lot of people will support you then, but not really. You know, and when you're on your come up, they're not gonna support you. But when you're there, they're gonna support you. Everybody gonna be there for the congratulations. Everybody, trust me, everybody going to be there for the congratulations. But not everybody going to be there before the congratulations when you're trying to make your way to the congratulations. Now I'm saying, like I said, people, if people won't even do the bare minimum, sharing, the, sharing your video on their story without you having to ask. Like, come on now. They don't they won't do that. They probably will watch the video, but don't even hit the like button. That takes a second. Speaking of that, make sure you hit that like button, turn on post notifications, comment down below what you want me to talk about. Subscribe because I'm trying to make 300 subscribers before this month and I'm at 291. But anyways, yeah, man. <clears throat> a lot of people will support you when you make it there, but they ain't going to support you when you're trying to make it there. And it is what it is. But these are the people you got to watch out for when you do make it there. Because me personally, if you didn't support me on my way up, when I'm at the top, don't try to support me now. Like, you can support me, but you ain't going to get nothing out of me. You ain't going to get no money. You ain't going to get no advice. Actually, you will because if you watch my videos, then that's all the advice you will get. But, yeah, man. Don't, don't. These people, when you make it, be careful with the ones that rock with you before you made it and supporting you before you made it. Then the ones that just joined in on your life when you made it. Be careful for them. Watch. You know, be able to tell the difference between them. Because one, you got to keep closer than the other. You got to keep the ones close that supported you no matter what, even when you was nothing. And then the ones that didn't, not saying you got to cut him off. You don't got to cut him off. But you got to keep him from a distance. Love him from a distance because they ain't believing you till you did it. <clears throat> and it is what it is, man. It is what it is. That's just a part of life. It sucks that it's like that, but it's a part of life. A lot of people don't feel like they need to support, but they want all the support when they want to do something. It don't make no sense, but it is what it is. And last thing, take the risk. Trust me, taking risk, you got to take risk, bro. Me, one of my risks that I took was not going to college. I went to college for a little bit, and then I stopped. I'm not going to college no more, bro. All college is doing, <clears throat> I already came up with the decision that I don't want to work for anyone. So all I'm doing when I go to college is learning how to work for someone. I went to college for nursing. What, is, what am I doing? I'm going to college for nursing to be a nurse. When you're a nurse, you're still working under someone. There's always someone above you. You still got asked to go to lunch. You still got to ask to go on vacation when you want to go on vacation. If they accept it, it's up to them and how they feeling. I can't live like that. No, I'm saying so take the risk because if you don't take the risk then you're going to be working for someone that did take the risk you're going to be working for someone that um dropped out of college to just put all their time into their business and now they're a multi-million dollar business and you're working for them because you too scared to take the risk take the risk bro it's either you take the risk or you miss the opportunity <clears throat> which one would you rather do take the risk if you smart, you will take the risk. And that's me. I'd rather take the risk than miss the opportunity. And that go for anything. Not only money. That go for... If you want to approach a girl, take the risk, bro. Don't miss that opportunity. you never going to see her again. Literally, you're never going to see her again. A job offer, take... It, it sound good. You know what I'm saying? Take the risk or miss the opportunity, bro. Anything. That go for anything in life. Take the risk or miss the opportunity. Obviously, if it's a wise risk, not no risk that you're doing, but you ain't getting nothing out of it. Obviously, no. That's dumb. And yeah, 
You don't want to regret it in the future. Be like, dang, maybe if I did try that or maybe if I did put my all into this, I could have been somewhere instead of working at Walmart at age 66 and only relying on my retirement money when I retire and I only got, what, $100,000? No, bro. You know $100,000. Shoot, I'll take $100,000. But obviously, I would want more than $100,000. People make that in a year. That's what you make for your retirement. Can't do it. But yeah, man. So t all these things I told you, I hope y'all got something out of it. Lock in, y'all. Stay focused, bro. I love y'all. Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Comment down below what you want me to talk about. Subscribe. I'm trying to hit 300, I mean, 500 followers before this month ends. I know we could do it. We got, what, four more days? I know we could do it. So come on, y'all. Hit that subscribe button. Share this video. I love y'all and I'm catch y'all in the next video.